I'm Dane, also known as Daniac Films. I've decided to do something different than animating this video, and I think I want to try making a FNAF game. I'm going to be making a Five Nights at Freddy's remake, a remaster of the original game, and see how it turns out. I want my game to be 3D, free roam, and have good graphics. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the coding process and show you how I'm going to make this game. This will be the first episode in a series. And although these videos won't be tutorials, they might be helpful for some people who are trying to learn coding. For this game, I will be using Unity. Feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy. First, I'm going to grab an old first-person movement script from one of my other projects. Now, let's open up a new project and make a new script. We'll call this player movement for now. I'm just going to paste in the text we had from my other script into this one. And now, I can look around and I can move. Hooray! We just added a moving character. Now, I would slap a title on this game and call it done, but there are a few more things that I want to add. Here we have a little room with some doors that I added using Pro Builder. A few minutes later, and we have a pretty big building to go off of. Currently, we have the office and two hallways. I will add more rooms later, but for now, this will do. After about an hour of thinking, I came up with a good idea for how to make the doors. Basically, there's a max opening and a max closing. These are two positions, and it checks where if the door is open or closed, and moves the door to the position that it needs to be in. I've added a door panel to either side with a door and a light button, and with the press of E, you can open and close this makeshift door. I will make the door look better. Also, I did add lights too. Now, I've added some texturing, I've expanded the building some more, and I've changed up the sound. On the left side of the screen, you can see a map of the whole area, including my character. On the right side of the screen, you see my character's first person's perspective. Now, I will add some decorations to the office, like cabinets. Here's a look of the office so far. One of the minor details that I did was that I changed the door and made it better to be more metallic and look like an actual security metal door. Hmm. This camera could use an update. On the left side of the screen, you can see that I've added a camera and that I've hooked it up to the monitor. This camera updates in real time. So you can actually see me move on the camera. Look on the left. You can see my character jumping up and down. Okay, now we have to make multiple cameras and be able to cycle through them. If you look down in the inspector, you can see that I've made an array where I can switch through materials and set the max amount of cameras. So, I went and added a few more cameras around the building in different places, and using render textures, rendered their outputs as materials and put them into the array mentioned earlier. I set it so that when you press the F key, it switches to a random camera. And I did this to add a little bit more challenge to this game. 
This video might be relaxing, but the game will not be relaxing. Even see my character in the camera again. Hello. Now, I've added a few more things, like sounds and ambience, just to make things feel nicer. Here is everything we've done so far put together. Let's go over everything we've done today. We've set up a first person movement script. We've built a small portion of the FNAF 1 map. We've made working lights and doors. We've started on the camera system and we've added some sounds and ambiance. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and a comment. Anyway, I'll see you next video.